Hey, before we start, our Varsity Jackets with the Helper logo is only available for one more week. After that, the Helper logo is gone. So go get it while you can. That Helper design is only available when we do our charity events. We are trying to get rid of child poverty in our town. So be part of the help. Okay, that's it. Enjoy the video. Jay, Joe, Steven, Hosa, and Daniel decided to apply to the SCP Foundation. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait. Steven and I understand because D class people are lifetime prison criminals. Why the hell is Hosa here? Which we are not. <laughs> We're Jay. just regular people. We're not criminals. Yeah, I just need to pay off my college bills, so I'll take any job I can get, even if it's a threat to my life. Whatever the case is, we are now at the SCP Foundation interview process. The interviewer goes, Next, please! That is is not how interview goes. It's it's one of those like fast paced speed interviews. interviews. They they don't care who they hire. <laughs> yeah, it's like speed dating. <laughs> They're gonna die anyways. So <laughs> they just need bodies. No, no, that's not true, guys. We just want to give a chance for everybody. Yeah, everybody. We dies. have amazing insurance, by the way. Oh. If you want to get that? Do you have dental? Uh, no. Uh, welcome to the SCP Foundation interview process. My name is James. Now, uh, do you guys have any previous experience working on a top secret organization that may lead to impending and inevitable doom? Well, uh, a friend of mine told me his secret favorite flavor of ice cream is strawberry, not to tell anyone, and I kept that secret pretty well. Oh. Wait. <laughs> I'm pretty good at hiding bodies and hiding it from the cops. Interesting. Do you have any close relatives that would question your disappearance? I'm a loner who lives in the middle of the woods. Great. Fantastic. Fantastic. My yeah. ex-girlfriend always contacts me every day. Steven, for the last time, she doesn't exist. No, she's totally real. She's in a different town. You don't know her. She moved away. <laughs> Stephen, what's her name? Emperoni? Yeah, she's, she's totally real. Her name is Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> all right, all of you guys are hired. You'll start working as a janitor Wait, in really? class Euclid facilities. <laughs> You're going to hire all of these oh, people? God. Hell yeah, dude. We got a job, boys. So you guys are all hired. Yay! 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 So what does this you know, job entail? Did you not listen to the map? We were hired to clean as a janitor. Right, right. But what are we cleaning? Are we cleaning like goo? or like the remains of past employees, you know, things like that. I can't tell you until you sign this contract. No. No? No, Steven says no, he's not going to sign your contract. What are you going to do now, Daniel? Hosa holding down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, he has all the right to refuse. No, he not, doesn't. Not in here. Oh, okay. Not in here. I want to seduce Steven with my incredibly good looks. All right, you roll. Oh, you get a 20. <laughs> wow, critical success. <laughs> well, fuck. Okay, fine, man. I'll sign the contract. Great. Right. <laughs> Time passes and all of you have come in for the job. Good morning, Steven. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, oh, good Jay. Morning, Hosa. How are you guys doing? I'm doing oh. fantastic. I had a lovely sleep, minus the screaming people. What the fuck? <laughs> you guys go to a bus station, but a different bus comes along and picks you up. And the next thing you know, you arrive at this huge facility. It almost looks like a prison. Oh, oh, geez. The person that hired you comes along and says, oh, hi, guys. Welcome. Hello. So there is five of you. The first job you'll be in charge of is cleaning SCP-173's cell. <laughs> It's nothing huge, just make sure that if you want to blink, you let another person know that you have to blink, and then you blink, okay? Is this this creepy pasta? Wait, no, 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 wait. this is a scary spaghetti. <laughs> Listen, we're gonna go and do this job. All right, Hosa, Are Steven, we all gonna die? Joe, yes. I will clean the entire room for you. All you have to do is promise me to look at a very, very naked concrete block. Oh my god. You guys are taken into a room, and all you see is this weirdly shaped carved feature. <laughs> What the heck is this? What the what? What is that? And surrounding it are all these feces and blood piled up oh. next to each other. Do not take your eyes off that thing. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. I don't like its badonka donk. James says, all right, I gotta go soon. But again, once I open this door, you guys are gonna go in, not break eye contact. By the way, before the actual game begins, I have to let you know each player has three lives and I will kill you guys without hesitation. If even one of you comes comes alive out today, you all win. This is gonna be a okay, bloodbath. Joe. Guys, does anybody know, like, in the Doctor Who, the Weeping Angels? Yeah, 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 I know Weeping Angels. That thing is that, oh. except for a lot quicker and a lot more deadlier. All right, okay. I will just uh, keep on staring at it because although I'm disgusted, I'm weirdly dis intrigued. What happens if the lights go out? Lights flicker. Oh shit, okay, I pulled yeah. out Wait, a cell phone. Where, Jay, hurry where up. Where did the sculptor go? I am oh, yeah, cleaning yeah. as fast as I can. There's dried <laughs> up poop here. Yes. What do you want me to do? James comes back, how are you guys? 
Wait, where is it? What do you mean, where is it? Where is it? Where's oh, what? Oh, oh no. suck a dick. Oh, shit. I'm okay. going to turn on my flashlight on my phone immediately. A huge sounding alarm starts to go off, and a red light starts flashing. <laughs> Announcement comes. <laughs> SCP-173 has escaped its cell. This is not a drill. Why did you keep a flickering <laughs> light? If only we had better procedures of cleaning the room. <laughs> mm. <laughs> turn to James for help. Well, he's dead on the ground. Okay. Good. The safest thing we can do is essentially go back to our cells. Oh, but we still gotta clean this room, man. We were gonna no. to do. Oh my god, joke. Ah. You clean if you want to. Actually, that's not a bad idea. What if we lock ourselves in here, wait till this whole thing blows over, and then get out when it's safe? Ah, shit. Do we have access to close the door? Because we don't oh. have any access. Oh, uh, no, right now. no, you can't close the door. Yes. Oh my god, nice. Jay, don't help him. <laughs> Thank don't. you. Holy crap. No, <laughs> you Jesus can't close Christ. the door. The door's locked. Yeah, you do. Emergency. Dan, I feel like you just like killing us. I think we should sacrifice Jay when we see the thing. Hey, if you kill me you lose an encyclopedia i have a plan guys so all of us are gonna hold hands and then we're gonna okay. put our backs to the wall and then get out of here if there is a lockdown breach why would mm -hmm. all the doors shut down immediately like close immediately because you know oh, prevent yeah. any other containment breaches uh you know, for plot. <laughs> well, <he's laughs> honest. Right. You guys put your backs on the wall and try to walk out. You have two doors in front of you. One door leads to a place where you remember seeing an SCP called Golden Tweezers. And another room that you remember seeing an SCP-426 called a Toaster being in that vicinity. Which which direction do you go? Neither one sounds good. I think the Tweezers one. The Toasters one sounds like it'll just burn us. I think we should go for the Toaster, guys. Oh my god. God, Daniel. Democracy says majority vote, and majority vote says tweezers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fine, whatever. Tweezers. You go in first. Wait a second, this is reverse psychology. Oh he actually God. wants us to go to the toaster, but he's saying do it, Holy so shit. Steven suggests the other oh thing. Oh my God, what a mastermind. We okay. can split. No, never split up. Haven't you seen any horror movie ever? <laughs> I mean, we have three lives. What's the worst that could happen? Who goes into the toaster and who goes into the I'll gold go into the golden go to the tweezer, tweezer first. Tweezer. Um, all right, Dan, you and me, we go into the toaster, I guess. J. Hosa Steve. Stephen walks into the golden tweezers room. Once okay. you got in, you see this paper giving more information about the golden tweezer. What did it say? Whoever touches it will get an extreme case of OCD. It'll make you pluck out your hair one at a time, and then your nails, then your eyeballs, and then organs. If you force it out from the individual, the individual may use their hands to finish the job. Okay, do not touch that thing. As you do, Stephen vicariously touches the golden what tweezer. What the heck? <laughs> wow, this is so neat. He loses his focus in his eyes, and he starts to pluck pluck his hair one at a time. Okay. Steven loses a life. <laughs> I do not touch Steven whatsoever. He killed himself. I'm not even going to bother trying to pry that thing out Hi, of his Hi, Jay. Plans. I would love a handshake. Thank you. <laughs> Steven throws the golden tweezer at Jay's face. Oh, Jay loses a knife. Wait, what? Are serious? I'll take my shirt off and then cover it. And I'm going to be really mean and say Hosa doesn't lose a life. Are you? Wow. wow. Okay, fine. <laughs> Sorry. What is this Yay. favoritism? <laughs> Joe and Daniel goes in the toaster room. I hope you die. Also, there's a paper over there. I am SCP. 426. I can only refer myself in first person. If someone is exposed in my presence for more than two months, they will start to try and become a toaster, trying to devour what? electric socket, stuffing themselves with bread, etc. So as long as we don't stay in here for two months, we'll be okay. Wow. Two months is a long time, so uh, I think we're good. All right, let's get out of here, Joe. Oh, sweet. I hate you. I hope you'll die. <laughs> oh, hey, you guys. What happened to your hair? All of you guys meet up, and there's two exits. In one exit, you see a pond, but the pond pond seems to be blood red. That's kind of creepy. Oh, that's not very good. I think we should drink it. Go ahead. Let me know how it tastes. Another one leads to a different room, but there seems to be a bunch of small one-eyed creatures just standing around. Oh, they're kind of cute. Wait, is this what I think it is? Well, what does it do, Jay? Enlighten us. Okay, it is either really good or horrifically bad. Okay, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> wow, really, Jay? I had no I clue. I'll go to the blood pond. I feel like... I, I'm gonna stick with the one-eyed creature. Jay, Joe, and Steven go into this oh my god i think i should just let daniel <laughs> say where he's going first the room with a bunch of one-eyed creatures they are called scp-131 the note says oh often acts as pets and warns others of danger can i keep one yes you can and yes its eyes will remain open which means oh, oh. 
Actually, how many is there in the room? There's a bunch. There's a lot. There's uh, like... Okay, would... everybody take one. Everybody take five. Can I just take two? Yeah. Okay. I, I would like you to... You guys like... grab a handful of these guys <laughs> who try to snuggle you when you pick them up. I will name you Squishy, and you will be Squishy Jr. And Meanwhile, Colt and Daniel <laughs> walk into this um pond. Wait, we are outside, aren't we? Daniel looks up. It seemed like a sky before, but it really wasn't. It's just like an artificial sky. Uh-oh. What's happening? I'm not sure, dude. Oh, look, there's a note. Object class cater. Entities emerge from the pool. These creatures are aggressive and highly dangerous. Oh, shit. Instant death once entered. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no! Daniel and Hosa loses a life. Joe, Steven, and Jay walks in with a bunch of these skew things. <laughs> Hosa and Daniel walks in, bloodied up, almost oh, at the brink of death. Oh my god, you guys, check out these things. They're so adorable. You have to look at them. They're adorable. Look at them. Here you go. You can name them. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Oh, look. Another two door exits. Mm. So convenient. One door, you kind of open and it's it's hot. And you open a little bit more and you see this man on fire. These have wings. Fireman? Okay, cool. You close it back. <laughs> and another right, door, cool. you open. And all you see are warnings to not look. And you close the door again. Which one do you go into? I highly suggest we go to actually the room that says do not look. So how are you going to enter this room then? Just look at the walls. Do not look anywhere else. Right. Just ground or walls. Well, you guys can do that. I'm going to go uh, meet the fire guy because he seems like he would give a warm welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with Joe, actually. Yeah, let's, go. let's go. Let's All hold right. hands. Not because we have to. I just want to. Jay, Steven, <laughs> and Daniel decide to go into the room where you see this warning sign to not look. As you open the door a little bit more, you can feel a presence of a creature at the far right side of the corner. But there's also an exit at Hello, the left side. creature! No, do not. Do not look. Do not look. Do not look. The creature I'm, I'm makes a moaning sound. I close the squishy eyes and I walk along the wall as I look at the ground and just walk forward. You know how people used to make those human trains? Yep. We do a mini version of that and we all look <laughs> down and we exit and we're safe. You, you conga line, we do not want to die. We do not want to die. <laughs> we do not want to <laughs> die. Osa and Joe hey. mm -hmm. walks into this other room. This human that was really far away, it turns out to be a humanoid entity that is 320 meters tall. Wait, what? Jeez. It appears to have wings, but no one ever can really agree on exactly how many wings it has and as you walk towards it as if you're curious to know more about it you get instantly disintegrated and you are erased from existence uh, wow Hosa and Joe loses another life so what happened to the pets then <laughs> oh the pets died the pets too died. The oh pets? no oh and and also Hosa and Joe but yeah no mostly the squishy pets. Joe <laughs> <laughs> alright let's move on Joe I will give you one of my squishies oh thank you take care of Joe no, you can't have any of mine they're my boobs no if you are not getting drawn with boobs. Do you know how many gender bender fan art we get? Oh my god. I want gender bent fan art. <laughs> Joe, I will make sure I put that in for you. Because I bet I look hot as a girl. Send him send him gender bender memes, yes. And then there are another two doors. One door leads to a man named Fernand. Another door leads to an orange slime. Orange slime! Orange slime! Orange slime! Okay, anyone contained in here obviously seems like they're a bad yeah, person. Yeah, let's, let's check the slime. How about that? But I think the slime is just gonna eat us. No, no, no. no. Okay, wait, wait, orange slime, right? <laughs> yeah. <He's> so excited. <laughs> yeah. Is it delicious? No, 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 no. You, don't you fucking dare eat the slime. Should I go into the other room just to see what it's about? Please do. So Daniel goes in the other room. No, you have a pet. Give us the pet first. No, it's mine. It's either this slime room or give us the pet. What? Yeah, don't. Can I steal his pet? I would like to steal his pet. Oh, you roll a one, you fail. Okay. You <laughs> 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 didn't even roll a one. <laughs> Daniel walks into this room and a man's just standing there. He's an eight foot tall man and he's 700 pounds. He has a giant jaw and a bulbous nose. What the Daniel heck? tries to hold the conversation. Hi, what are you doing in here? He says, oh, hi. He walks up to Daniel, looks at Daniel. Daniel looks up at him. So what, what are you in for? 